Texas has been rocked by an earthquake 4.7 magnitude today and other smaller earthquakes in the same exact region. What is going on? This is not a small earthquake 4.7 magnitude. USGS reports that 236 people did claim that uh, did uh, claim that they felt it and reported it to USGS. Um, let's take a look at the maps to see what is going on. Uh, I hope this is not uh, induced seismicity. If it is, it's too big. Here we are at the map of uh, Texas. Basically, it's uh, about 100 miles uh, southeast of Lubbock, which has uh, an airfield, uh, a base there. Uh, 4.7, as you can see. 8.7 kilometers depth, which is quite shallow. And we have an earthquake swarm there. Okay, the blue is the past day, and you can see quite a lot there. This is the 4.7, and these are today 2.5, 8.2 kilometers step, 9.1, 2.6, and these are the past week. Okay, this was uh, four days ago, for example, but this is the biggest of the lot, 4.7 today. Let's pull out a little bit. Uh, let's go to the aerial. Okay, this is it right here. This is the shake frequency. The red is, of course, a fault line. This is it right here. The USGS stops it right there. And uh, this goes up to, look at this. These are fault lines. This goes up to, uh, this is Salt Lake City, Utah, Utah, and uh, Yellowstone. So here we are. You can see how big that shaking was. And it says here, in cases where elsewhere in the world there is evidence that some central, eastern, North American earthquakes have been triggered or caused by human activities that have altered the stress condition in Earth's crust sufficiently to induce faulting. Activities that have induced felt earthquakes in some geologic environments have included impounded water behind dams, injection of fluid into the Earth's crust, we're talking about frack, fracking here, extraction of fluid or gas, and removal of rock in mining or quarrying operations. In much of eastern and central North America, the number of earthquakes suspected of having been induced is such, much smaller than the number of natural earthquakes, but in some regions, such as south-central U.S., a significant majority of recent earthquakes are thought to be but by many seismologists to have been human-induced. Even within areas with many human-induced earthquakes, however, the activity that seems to induce seismicity at one location may be taking place at many other locations without inducing felt earthquakes. So I hope that's not uh, induced by fracking. If it is, it's just too big. Okay, 236 people reported so far. And this is what our fra the uh, frequency shows. Okay. Oops, sorry. Let's put in the... Uh... Okay, and this is um, near New Mexico, right there. Now, going back to the aerial. Kansas, Nebraska. Remember, I did uh, in the past talk about the uh, kimberlite volcanoes that Kansas has. They found at least 13. And the kimberlite volcanoes are, that's the Arkansas River, uh, diamond spewing volcanoes. And a lot of people there have felt their houses shaking and booms from underneath their houses. That's because they, they release gas. These underground volcanoes release gas. They're kimberlite volcanoes spewing diamonds. So, um, Going back again to the Great Lakes, this is a mantle plume under there that's been there for about a billion years. The Queen and Fault, the Lake Superior was, at one point, Lake Superior was uh, very close to Wyoming. And that, of course, this uh, stretching of the continental plate is because there's magma underneath. 
and that's a horseshoe shaped mantle plume with magma and the western part goes down like this into texas and then turns uh, west and the eastern part goes down like this in the new madrid seismic zone okay we did have a 3.8 uh, around niagara falls um upstate new york last week so this 4.7 to me is god forbid if that's uh, the way of hydrofracking uh going uh, making these earthquakes becoming more intense i mean that's not at all good because of the people living there obviously now going in i don't know if there is any more fracking going on in texas if you live there please let us know uh but to me this looks like communities there and farming okay that that seems to be farming these circles of uh, the uh, sprinkler systems and okay that there obviously is fracking that's hydrofracking all these little pots there hydrofracking and if we go back to our center as I said it, it may be hitting somewhere else doesn't mean it's yeah there's some hydrofracking there some here Okay, and uh, river systems. The first thing we learn in Geology 101, every river is a fault line. So all of you there, please be very careful. And the geologist, did, the seismologist did tell us that the uh, earthquake in um, Turkey was so strong that uh, it could be that it affected the tectonic plates of the whole earth. Okay, they're still going on there, by the way. Okay, please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. All of you there, please be alert and be careful. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.